Hey everyone, this is Puneet back again. And in this video, I'm going to share with you a quick but powerful function that can help you to combine multiple columns into one single column. Now, the name of this function is to call, and this is one of the newest function that has been added in Microsoft Excel in recent years. So let's get started. All right. So here I have two columns with numbers. In the first column, I have one to six, and in the second column, I have seven to twelve. Now, when I enter to call function, it has three arguments. And in the first argument, I need to define the range or two columns that I want to combine. And in the second argument, it asks me how I want to take all the values. If I want to keep all the values, or if I want to ignore the blank cells, or if I want to ignore errors, or if I want to ignore blank cells and error both. Here, I'm going to go with zero. That means keep all the values. And now the third argument is very, very important. Here, this function asks me how I want to combine these two columns. Let's say if I want to go with the column A first and then the column B, or if I want to get one value from the column A or one value from column B and then one value from column A and again one value from column B. Now, in this example, I don't want to do that way. I want A column first and then I want the column B. So I will go with scan by column. And now when I hit enter, it gives me both of the columns into one single column, like one to six and seven to 12. Now, if I change these numbers and enter the function again, select the range, keep all the values. And here, instead of scanning by column, I will select scan by row. That means false. Now, when I hit enter, it gives me values in single column. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you found this function useful. And, and I'll be coming out with a lot of cool functions, Excel tips and tricks in coming weeks. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next week.